Hey everyone, this is Devin, aka hey. Leonard Meltzner. And this is Victoria. And you're watching The, the Adventures, Adventures in Odyssey, Odyssey Oddcast. Although you already know that if you read the title of the video. Even though it only okay. says AIOO number three. That's what so. it means. Now you know. The and more you don't know, you, you forget, forget it. it. I love saying that. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for staying after episode two because it was a little bit dry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yes, hopefully you enjoyed the brief clips from actors because it wasn't us that you were listening to. It was all me. Yes. Especially Wooten. That's my speciality. Okay, so before we begin, a quick reminder again, please send in your interview questions for Austin and Tasha. We're going to be interviewing them soon, so please give us lots of probing questions about anything and everything that we can ask them. Ask them about what kind of cereal they ate for breakfast yesterday morning. What color their socks are. That's what I was going to say. I was going to say what... Because we're so in sync. I was... We're so in sync. I was no. going to say what brand of sock they were wearing, actually. But. Oh, that's that's even more probing. I like Ooh. that one more. Yes. The next level. This is like front page news Kurt Stevens, Oscar Peterson stuff right here. Ask about the gym sock collections and the gypsy tuna barge. Okay, so, if you watched last week's episode and you made it to the end or skipped to the end, then you'll know that this week what we're doing is going over stuff for album 57. We have the album description, we have the episode titles and air dates, we have the cover art, so we're going to nitpick it apart and see what we can guess about what the heck is going to go on starting August 10th. It'll be fun. Yes. So, let us begin. It looked way cooler when I did it. So, let's start with the two descriptions that we have here. And hopefully I'll make the screen go to something else so you're not just looking at the top of my fluffy-haired head while I read this. Your hair is very fluffy. I'll do this in a Wooten announcer voice. <clears throat> there comes a time when everyone must look at their life and see where God is leading them. The folks in Odyssey must ponder that question after a series of surprises. I was going to go into a perky Wooten voice, but I can't do that. Connie goes through a difficult experience and has to figure out how to turn tragedy into triumph. Meanwhile, three generations of the Parker family journey in the Imagination Station to witness the story of the last judge of Israel, leading Camilla... You're doing what I did when I read it yesterday. Leading Camilla to consider what God might be saying to her. It's a life-changing time in Odyssey as our friends at Wit's End learn lessons in the midst of excitement and fun. Yay! And the other summary. Life is full of surprises, some that are welcome, some that aren't. That sounds like Chris's introduction to Way Late in a Windy City. Yeah, it does. Blackard is coming back! Shh! They don't know that yet! They're starting at album 5 or 1. Oh yeah. A trip, <laughs> a trip in the Imagination Station is usually fun, but three generations from the Parker family are surprised to find it can be life-changing too. I thought I was going to say, um, traveling in the Imagination Station is usually fun, but three generations of Parker family aren't. Yeah. I'm sorry, Lucia. I just don't... I know. I don't like you. And who doesn't... It's okay. I, I don't need to And who doesn't love the circus, especially when it involves a mystery behind sabotage and betrayal? What? A circus in Odyssey with a what? mystery a behind mystery. it? A mystery? We never get those anymore. A mystery anymore. involving the carnival slash circus. That's unheard Wait, of. Wait, what? I never thought of... Oh my gosh. And Connie's life is turned upside down by an unexpected phone call, triggering major changes for everyone around her. In laughter or tears, you can... <laughs> you can count on the gang at Woodsend to make life surprises fun, exciting, touching, and rich with lessons from God. Yes, thank you, Victoria. You're welcome. Uh, some other information here. Uh, the digital download will include a look at Shona's journey in the Get in the Show contest. For those who don't know, this last summer, last year, all summer long and all the way into the fall, there was a big Get in the Show contest to pick someone to be a voice in a multi-part Adventures in Odyssey episode. The winner was a girl named Shona. We'll discuss that more later when we get to that specific episode. So there'll be a video look at her journey in the contest. 
full length When You're In Love song by Painted Flowers. That name is beautiful. I'm assuming that that's a singer and not actual flowers singing covered in paint because you can't. I want to see that. It'll be like Wonderland. Painted Flowers would die because the stomatic can't take in It'll oxygen. The red roses. And we don't promote killing flowers, so it better be a singer. And a video peek at the Odyssey Adventure Club. I really still don't know what this is. Brock has been talking about it, but it's still pretty vague. We do know that after this season, I was going to say series, but this isn't Britain. <laughs> after this season, there's going to be a two-parter called The Launch, which involves Wooten and a hut, at the least we know. And apparently it is an exclusive huh. episode for the, Adventures, the Odyssey Adventures Club. Whether this means it's not in season 58, and whether it means it's not going to be in the album, I have no idea what's going on with that. I only found out this information today from our dear friend Austin on the Town of Odyssey. So we'll see what comes of that as time goes on. So, to the meat now. Twelve episodes. Your Servant is Listening, part one and two. No chemistry whatsoever. The friend formula. More than a feeling. Repentant after me. Repent, er, after, repent me. after me. Sorry, I can't read. Big trouble under the big top. Life expectancy parts one to three. And the pilot parts one to three. Parts one to two. One to two is what I said. And no, you can't go back to prove me wrong because I I messing up the timeline on the YouTube video. Other things to note about this album, it has been announced that there will be several story arcs starting in this album, one about Connie, which will be the, uh, starting life, life expectancy. the life expectancy thing, and one that involves most of the main characters. So when it means several story arcs, hopefully that means we have sort of album 45 to album 49 sort of thing, where we have all sorts of different storylines going at once. We have Leonard Meltzner, and we have Grady, and Mandy we have and Kelly, and we have Mandy's family, we have, um... They had more than that, didn't they? Yeah, I know, there's, uh, Connie's book, all these different things yeah. all weaving together into a big tapestry of awesome. So hopefully it's something like that, because I would love that again. And then some odd episodes here and there that weren't actually tied in, but they were good anyway. Yes. Keep up the good job focus. Yes. Specifically, Bob Hoos, Marshall Younger, Kathy Buchanan, Nathan Hubler, and Paul McCusker because they are the writers for this album. Uh, and that's about it for the things that are really interesting. So, let's start discussing Because the rest things. of it isn't. No, it's, it's just boring stuff. Okay, Victoria, your servant is listening. What are your thoughts on that? We know that that's the one about the three generations of Parkers going into the Imagination Station. It's going to be, obviously, from the title, about Samuel as a child, and speak, Lord, your servant's listening when he's young. So, what do you think? Um, well, you know it's going to have, by three generations... Might as well close this, so you can see our faces. Well, we don't know how many Parkers are actually going to be in the Imagination Station, do we? No, we obviously Lucia has to be there. Yeah. Unless she's like the, Olivia's had a child since the last um, album. There are two that better not have happened. <laughs> um I'm, there are two guaranteed characters that are going to be in there. We don't know yes. if the whole family is. They already going know to be that, Victoria. There. We're making guesses. Yeah. They already know Lucia the facts. Lucia and Camilla. Camilla. My guess is it's just going to be Lucia and Ava and Camilla. Maybe Olivia, but probably not any of the guys, I don't think. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the guys will be there. This episode, I know when it first came out that they were going to be doing an Eli Samuel sort of episode because of the whole Miracle Baby thing involved with that. I know a lot of us thought that this was going to be a Eugene and Katrina episode and it was going to have something to do with the Miracle Baby for them having to do with the story of Samuel. I would have liked that. And it may still be. I the, hope it is. The interesting thing I find about this one is that it's life-changing things for Camilla and not Olivia, because Olivia is obviously the, old, the uh, eldest of the Parker children, so I would think it would be her who's more having, you know, in a, an age where she's thinking about life-changing decisions, whereas Camilla, who's like eight or something like that. Yeah. Um... 
So we know it's gonna be Samuel and did you say it's gonna have Eli's the Eli old I think. If I'm wrong on my Bible stories, then you can all berate me in the comments. I haven't read it for it be like I've read the, that story for a long time. Is it gonna be when Samuel's older? No, no, it's or, young, like when oh, he, like when Samuel God keep, come yeah, and, and then he like, like goes into the room and then yeah, he's like, Speak, Lord, your servant's listening. That, yeah, that's okay. why it's called your servant is listening. That would make sense. Um I don't, I don't know, you pretty much said everything and more that I was thinking. I, I didn't really put too much thought into that album. I'm guessing, or not that album, the sorry, episode, yes. the episode. Um, I'm guessing it's not going to be one of those episodes where they accidentally go into the Imagination Station considering they're going to have adults with them. I don't know, it has happened before accidentally with adults, but... Meaning Moses the Passover? Yeah. Well, Moses the Passover. Accidentally. No, Wit was no. Wit knew that they were both gonna go, and he kind of tricked George in, but George did not know he was going to get. Well, that's in. what I meant. Yeah. So Excuse I don't think me. they're accidentally gonna walk in, especially since Camilla spends a lot of time at Wit's end. She should know the how to do it, unless she decides to trick her relatives in. I don't know. Which could be humorous. I mean, it's like, hey, uh, let's go through this door, and then it's like. Whoosh, and then all of a sudden, they're oh, in Oh, it could be Israel. they're like, she's showing them the imagination station, then they try and go out of it, and then they, they try and get out, and then doors And then happen. it's like, oh, sorry, <laughs> now you're trapped in a two-parter. Do they even have, Oops. like, lots of closing doors, or just door frames in ancient Israel? Because if they were, I, I imagine there would be more, like, open door frames, and I mean, if you go they through that... They have curtains, just, like, swing the curtain open, walk through, I know. whoa! You'd think you'd, I'm in a random place. Like in with Matthew in the perfect church, you get used to kind of like stick your head through a doorway, and if you look, and the doorway's like a Minecraft portal, oh and gosh. there's like wibbly wobbly lines, and you look through, and there's like another place on the other side. You're like, okay, Imagine, like, I'm gonna stay here for a while. If you like went through, and then somehow your head was in one place, and your body was in another. What if someone, I, if I you were doing know. that, and then someone came to grab you, and they like went through the portal, and then they go back in time, no, no, and then there'd be two can. of them, I'm pretty then sure there'd be like two no. ancient Israel no, no, people. No, 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 because no. no. like people have walked through the doors together, and then like one suddenly in a different place. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so. Way to ruin my theory, Victoria. I was gonna like have them in two different That'd timelines, be interesting, though. and then they're gonna run into each other and create like an antimatter annihilation though. collision, and then blow up everything. No, I think that only happened if the program was glitching, glitching. out. Yeah. Uh, and because well, it never does we all, that. We all know that that never happens. Not like knights coming into Odyssey, even though or hide and seek. Yeah. Which, in hide case you've seek. never noticed, here's something amazing for everyone. Hide and Seek is episode 404, because it can't be found. And in case you didn't get that, if you're not an internet person, when it, when you go to a page but it doesn't exist on the internet, it's a 404 error because you the page can't be found. You mentioned that to me, but you didn't explain the 404 thing. I'm sorry, I, I just... Didn't, I didn't get that until right now, because like earlier today I got a lot of those pages while I was looking on the internet. And so now I got it the, the second before you explained it. So. Yeah, I always assume that people understand 404 to be associated with not being found, something being missing, hide and seek 404. You no, know it's you know really trippy. Okay, I listen to Odyssey when I sleep, and sometimes I have dreams about the episodes I'm listening to, which can be really freaky. But that's a topic for but another time. One time I was listening to Hide and Seek and I had a dream about it and I was trapped in the imagination station and it was glitching out and it was really scary. Yeah. So, next episode. <laughs> anyway. We've kind of grouped these three together. I'm not sure if they're together, but both of us independently I, came up with the idea yeah. that these three are grouped together. They so just sound like they are. Yeah. So, like the titles. I think it's like the Penny Saved. Penny, Penny earned, earned kind of thing. thing. No chemistry whatsoever, the friend formula, and more than a feeling. So obviously all three of these give a very shipping kind of feel to them, whether it friendship or relationship. Chemistry right off the bat, no chemistry whatsoever makes me think of relationships and rejection. So whether this is talking about Wooten and Penny, or Barrett and Priscilla, I have the feeling of 
there are hearts that are being broken into little pointy shards. I, I think it might be, I kind of feel like no chemistry, what's, chemistry whatsoever, sorry, I can't talk apparently. I think it's going to be like a, at the early stages of Eugene and Katrina, kind of, when Eugene was kind of, to quote Connie, whoosh, and so, and he, and Connie's all like, oh, you're, you're totally into her. You're about to go see her right now, aren't you? He's like, no, no, there's nothing between us. That's kind of the feel I got for the title, like no chemistry whatsoever. Like someone's trying to be In like, a defensive well, kind of way. no, no. And Wooten's really like that oh, about yeah. Penny. That's so true. So that just makes sense for me. So I think it might be kind of about Wooten and Penny, but it could be like a multiple storyline thing. So it's also about Barrett yes. and Priscilla. It does seem like it's about so. time that Penny and Wooten finally uh, requite their unrequited relationship. Or at least Penny finds out about it. Yeah, and then decides to deal with it one way or another because Wooten's just penting himself up like a volcano. As I Victoria feel really said. bad for him. Actually, I was about... We interrupt our previous broadcast with a current one because the SD card ran out of memory and we overwrote everything after that until we stopped filming. So here we are again, as you may have noticed, we okay. have a very sudden change in scenery here. We are now at Christina Lake here. Look down, look up. We're on a beach. For the day. <laughs> this time it actually works. Yes. I was going to say that, but... Whatever. Yeah. So. Here we are at Christina Lake. I thought this would be a nice change in scenery, and now we will continue on from no chemistry whatsoever until the end, and then cut back to our regular broadcast as we discuss the album artwork. So, the friend formula, Victoria. What do you think? Um... The name suggests similarity to no chemistry whatsoever. The uh, the chemistry and the formula thing. I mean, obviously, formula can have a lot of different meanings, but I don't think it's talking about baby food. Ha 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 ha! That's pretty cool. Ah. So Victoria and I have both thought about the idea that this is continuing on from no chemistry whatsoever in some sort of relationship arc. When I first read the friend formula, the first thing that popped to my mind was life of the party. Uh, friend zoning, more Facebook or social media stuff, like opposite day, like formula for making friends, but it could, yeah, it could also be friend zoning kind of thing, rejection from the last one, no chemistry whatsoever, whether it was Wooten and Penny or Barrett and Priscilla, they get rejected there, there's no chemistry, now they're trying to just be friends. Well, the relationship thing with Wooten and Priscilla, it's, well, you Priscilla? can all Priscilla? Sorry, I'm tired. Barrett and Priscilla, it's been a long weekend. I caught a cold and stuff. Anyway, again. um, yeah, again, I caught another one somehow. Um, the whole thing with Barrett and Priscilla, you can obviously tell that Priscilla likes Barrett, and Barrett, like, he's very good friends with Priscilla, like, best friends. So, I don't know, I. I don't really, <coughs> I don't really know what would happen with them if Priscilla asked Barrett out or something like that. But I could definitely see if, um, like Wooten and Penny, maybe going that course with Penny doing that. Yeah. What do you think? Interestingly, on the TOO, I've noticed in the discussions for album 57, people seem to be completely objected to the idea of Barrett and Priscilla being in a relationship because they think they're far too young, which I hadn't really considered their age, I don't know. I'm very so, bad at aging voices. I'm not good at telling anyone's age. I mean, obviously, Wit is 91, but... <laughs> that one's a no-brainer. Yeah, that'll be another video, Wit's age. On saying there'll be another video, there will be many discussions on many topics to come We're not just in the future. Up. Yeah, we actually do have plans on well, my secret notebook. And the the last episode, which seems to also have some sort of relationshipy theme here, is more than a feeling. Seven thirty-one. 
more than a feeling obviously sounds like it has relationship connotations or it could be talking about joy versus happiness which is a recurring theme we've had on odyssey it came up obviously in count adult joy it came up in happy smilers it came up in happy hunting just recently last album which makes me think it probably won't come up again so soon because you know we just had it last season but who knows what i think is gonna go on with this three episode things the episodes definitely sound like they're connected what even if they're not they just you know what i mean they just sound like they do it has been said that there will be some multiple character arcs beginning in this album one featuring okani one involving most of the main characters so this could be having to do with that main character arc because the uh the connie arc is most likely life going with expectancy. life expectancy Okay. Um, so. wait, what I think is gonna happen in this episode, if it is kind of a three episode thing, then it's gonna be like resolved. Everything with the relationship thing. Like, the first one, what's it called? Um, no chemistry whatsoever. That will like introduce the idea, friend formula, either accept or deny the idea, and like start it or just say just friends, and then more than a feeling, we'll finally conclude it by saying like, okay, we will go out, or won't, or something along those lines. Either way, I still really think it will mostly be about Putin and All right, Repent After Me has a very slice of life name, not very exciting, I'm guessing, pretty typical episode on repentance. Anything of note? Uh, no worthiness. Would be interesting if it was about Jay and Barrett. Anything with Jay and Barrett is interesting. I love Jay and Barrett episodes. Big Trouble Under the Big Top. Wow, a mystery involving a circus. That is something very jumping the shark for Odyssey because circuses and carnivals never involve mystery on adventures in Odyssey, not like the Green Ring Conspiracy or Carnival of Secrets, which is one of the uh, the books. Or um, the one where... Like Father, Like Boo. Yeah, Like Father, Like Boo. The Clown Confidentiality Code. So apparently there's mystery and betrayal and sabotage. And clowns, and which clowns. is always scary. Yes, we love clowns. Either yeah. way, I'm guessing we have another Jones and Parker mystery on our hands. Yay! That was sarcastic, yay. <clears throat> I did find the title a bit cheesy, personally, Big Trouble in the Big Top, but that's just me. You don't think so, did you, so you said you didn't? Uh, I don't know, I never really thought about it, but... I don't know, I don't, I don't think it's that bad. Not as bad as some other things. <coughs> Album 54, I don't know. Okay, here we go. The big clincher for this album is, of course, Life Expectancies, Part 1 through 3 with Shona, the winner of the Get in the Show contest, big Connie character development. What, from what people think, June is most likely going to die. Oh, I hope that doesn't happen. I because like her. Because she's, because Maggie Mullooly is not on the credits for that episode, as far as we know. She wasn't recording in that episode, so. Well, she doesn't have to be to make her die in it. I know, I know, but. It is about dealing with loss. Connie has a drastic change in her life somehow involving a phone call. Uh, first off, to talk about the, the Shona thing, it is likely that Bill is in the episode. Katie did say something on Facebook about Alan Bergman being in the episode. She kind of misspelled his name, but whether that was intentional or not, that's up for debate. He has only played a couple characters, I think, and the, the only one that wasn't a one-shot character, if I remember correctly, was Bill Pendle, and this episode is about Connie. We know Brock said on Facebook it was the most impactful script he'd ever read for the show before out of the past 726 episodes. Oh, the Pelly Moods is going to make me cry. Yes, plus the rest of album 57. Katie Lee was an emotional wreck after the recording was done, Kleenexes and tears and stuff everywhere. No offense, Katie, but it was very heart-touching, yes. And, of course, Shona, 
is going to be in it, who is the winner of the Get in the Show contest this last summer. She plays a very important part involving Connie, has some relation to her. So the uh, prevailing theory is that she's Connie's stepsister, which sounds extremely likely because by now Bill's probably have been married about 47 times. <laughs> Uh, married. What did he say? Like um, yeah. June, July, April, May. Yeah, Wednesday, he's... Tuesday, Monday, yeah, Thursday, this is Friday, Saturday. Shona is probably going to be playing the daughter of Bill and Tuesday. So, <laughs> yeah, Connie will have to deal with the fact that she has a sister and someone's going to die probably, and it's just going to be a big emotional I'm roller coaster. I'm wondering if it's going to be Connie's dad. I don't think so. But it, it could be, but it seems more likely that it's going to be June than Bill. Which is kind of surprising, because Bill is probably not too healthy after having that many wives. Can't be that good for... Ask your parents. Um, <laughs> um, anything else to say? Uh, dealing with loss. Last episode that we had, um, that was mostly, like, the most about dealing with loss, that was Where's Thy Sting? And that was a very impactful episode. That was also about Connie losing someone in her family. It was her grandmother and her father's mother. And it was also about her father, Bill, dealing with her grandmother's loss. Yes, we that may get some more impactful. drunk Bill scenes, which is fun because Bill is uh, fairly funny when he's drunk, unless it's that's, super depressing, that's like where it's listening. Nice. I'm sorry, some people are, like King Lawrence. King Lawrence is hilarious. The pilot. Last two. It's a two-parter, obviously. Uh, I don't know if in the previous recording I already made this joke, but I just want to throw it out of the way. Most shows usually choose the pilot to be their first episode, but Odyssey went with the 737th for it. Ha ha ha, that's the first thing that I thought when I read the title. Me too. And I think I've already mentioned the, the irony that the pilot is episode 737, which is in fact a type of plane. Yeah, for, I think they did it on purpose. Yeah, just like episode 404, I can see. Uh, so there are a lot of theories bouncing around about this one. We know now, since the, uh, the first recording, by the way, yes, the episode summaries are out right now and the themes and stuff, but we're just ignoring them because we want to speculate wildly and that just sucks all the fun out of it. And now I realize there's only a couple days left until album 57 came out because we took way longer to record this than I thought because Victoria was sick and stuff. I'm sorry. But there you go. That's life. That's the way things go. Some people think that Connie leaving will be what is going on here. Logan, please don't walk around back there. It's going to make noise on the camera. Uh, some people think Connie's going to be leaving for a while because she's the only of the main three who has never gone on an extended leave on the show, and that she's going to go to Costa Rica because that's the destination mission trip going with the A Call to Serve Axe contest going on this summer. Uh, it could be about Wit flying the plane or having to do with his pilot license that he got with uh, Great Expectations in the last I... album. I don't really think it would, though. No, I don't think so, especially not for season finale. We do know now, what I was going to say, is that it is tied into the launch, parts one and two, which will be the first two months episodes for the Odyssey Adventure Club. I'm sure we'll rant and complain about that in a future episode because of the fact that they're putting out exclusive episodes which won't be available by any other means or ever air, except for people who are paying $15 a month for them. But I digress. Relax. I realize there's other things going with it, but really, just to get this. Uh, the other, even farther fetched theory going around about the pilot is it could have some connection to a plane crash on Odyssey, possibly the Green Ring conspiracy pilot, because he was never really heard from again after the hospital. He was kind of cleared. I think it would be funny if the pilot was like. Jana all along, or Jenny and Monty didn't know because he was in the plane, and that would be kind Yeah, of funny. but Monty did see the pilot though. Yeah, but she could have been wearing a clever disguise. Like one of those Mission Impossible masks. Yeah, yeah. These things are ridiculous. It was actually so Jerry. Cool. It was Jerry all along. What? Yes. Surprise, he's alive. It wouldn't be the first time Odyssey's pulled a surprise. This character is actually alive after we thought they've been dead for the past 20 years. Blackbird? 
for people. Sorry, I forgot you guys were on album five. Okay, so did you have anything else to say about that? The waves are getting louder? Um, no, not really, but it's going to be fun. Yes, I think that is everything that we have to say. And, and we will be reviewing the episodes. As they come out every two weeks. Which will, you know, it'll be interesting because we'll have to do a pick from picture or something because I'm going to be in Vancouver. Victoria's going to be here in Castlegar. Not here in Castlegar. We're not in Castlegar right now. We're at the lake, but you know what we mean. So I think now it's time to turn you back over to your right. Sorry about that. It's now time to turn you back over to your regularly scheduled broadcast. Send you back to Devin and Victoria with the album artwork. Goodbye. Okay, so right now you're seeing a picture of the cover of album 57, A Call to Something More. If you want to look at it in super high definition, there's a link down in the description to the picture on AIO Wiki so you can look at it in all the super zoom in inness that we are looking in it at. Otherwise, you can just stare at Connie's face while we talk about the picture. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so first off, um, there is the logo. It's the new logo, obviously. Over four hours of audio entertainment, so it is uh, shorter than some albums have been, yeah, apparently. Yeah, the last couple ones been like five and a half hours. Yeah, because we've had a lot of long episodes lately. Yeah, I've enjoyed it though, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so first off, right in the center, we have Connie not wearing a green sweater. That made me upset. What makes me upset about this is not the fact that she's not wearing a green is sweater. Is the fact their shirt is tucked into her pants? Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, I just noticed that. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fact that there's no green sweater anywhere in this picture. Because honestly... No, no, there. In the in her the picture of her, like the awkward photo where her <laughs> eyes bulge out on the left hand Look side. Look at her special eyes. Is Look. that Connie's dad? Yeah, that yeah. must have been Bill and June before they divorced. Yeah, uh, on the... That's, that's an unflattering haircut on, for Connie's mom. On the left side... On the desk, there are some pictures there, and if you look at Connie, very the little closely. picture, yes, Connie has very special eyes in this picture. Her eyes are very big, and so are her parents, actually, but they're yeah. not as awkward as hers. The thing is, her eyes are the same size as her parents, but the picture itself of her is half the size. So <laughs> it looks like she's glued ping pong balls to her eyelids and I, put black dots on them. What, what I personally think is when someone, like the person taking her picture, it turned out that he was like really scary or like a clown or something like that and he was about to spray her with water so her eyes like bulged out when he took the picture. Or maybe he, they were about to take the picture and he suddenly drained all the air from the room and her eyeballs started popping out of her head. Wow. Sorry, I saw it and I thought of like Total Recall, the original one. And no. Okay, so on the floor, on, well on her lap, there's a photo album. And if we turn my laptop upside down, we see Eugene first off. And some um, I Muppets. Think, I, think I think there's <laughs> Muppets here. I think there's a little boy with an oval shaped head and a mustache. And some people with arms coming out their backs. They look I like think, twins, they're wearing green shirts. I think this is like pictures from Sesame Street plus Eugene. <laughs> I bet Eugene was on Sesame Street. Probably. That explain why he's so knowledgeable. Speaking of Eugene, there's a there's a Eugene action figure in the box on the couch on, on the, the right, right side. side. Which makes me think that one of these episodes may include a Dobson comes to town style thing where Wit talks about how everyone's getting their own action figures Except now. Except for Connie. Except for Connie. Because <laughs> she never gets anything, so she got a Eugene one. And because that's the face, face. If you're going to make a face like that, Connie, you're not getting your own action figure because <laughs> nobody's going to buy that. 
There, I, I don't think this is Connie's house because I was the just about to say that couch pattern and the wallpaper it kind and of looks older. And there's like doilies on the couch. There's giant couch doilies and there's candles everywhere. There's those can long beeswax candles that are like with the beeswax. Uh, with the, the wicks, that's a single wick between the two of them that you like hang over a thing for decoration like my grandma has in her entryway. I don't, I don't remember that. But yeah, I, she has three of them hanging right uh, when you come in on the wall. On, on I the like lawn. that lamp. The right that's by your nice, bathroom door. That's a nice lamp. You know what it reminds me of? The nice desk from, that is on the cover, the old cover artwork for album 18. Yes, a time of discovery, because this is a time to discover, what like the old ones. Connie's expression is on her face, because no one can tell. No, it is a time to discover all of the little secrets that Gary Locke has put into this that are me like, oh, that's what that was referencing there. Oh, you're right. Hey, what's They're this? Good. Look, uh, the box on the ground, in the foreground on the left-hand side. In the front. It says, when will... will... Hey, there's wit. Hey, yeah. That's the count... Oh, she has counter moves in her box. Oh she my has, gosh, she Connie's has, an Odyssey fan. She has album 37 in her box. You can just see Wit's face as he's looking into the Andromeda ca camera in his office. Spoilers, by the way, just forget what I just said. This is the album the 37 dictionary. cover, yeah, in her box. That is, that is fun. Oh, that's so cool, I never noticed that. I didn't either. She also has some spoons. Are those two rings? Spens. Spoon, spoons and tape and coffee and in, in like the first box on the left hand side that you see the little short one with and the there's tape like on the and there's like a little drawer I think up. that's just a general jewelry box those look like rings probably but I think it's just jewelry in general that's not tape that's like design oh well it's kind of uneven plus there's tape right beside it that's not tape this isn't tape that's not no, a there's tape. like no that is tape but those lines on the box, I don't okay. think those are tape because there's lots of boxes with signs like that. Lots of yarn laying around, some shoes, there's an LP on the floor. The record kind with vinyl, not like the YouTube playing a game kind. Let's look on the back counter. We have a coffee maker, there's a sink, there's, there's a, a blender. blender. There's a, there, is that a soap? Is a soap is dispenser, that? I think. Okay, and then a box, I think that's a peanut on the box and some Japanese above it because that does not look like English. Just it's obviously like Japanese peanuts. peanuts. That's what she poisons her roommates with. I think she was testing a pen on the piece of paper the on sticky the note. couch. Okay, the box on the couch, there's a sticky note on the side and it looks like she was testing a pen on it because I don't think that's supposed to look like actual writing. Well, the other sticky note down and to the left of it says 131 under some squiggles. That could be a clue. There's a family album with a creepy baby doll, and there's a lot uh, of mail. I think that's supposed to be like a... that's... mail? Mail. Oh, on the under couch. the box. On the, on the couch, under the box, there's lots of mail laying around. And there's... there's a camera in the box on the couch. An old the camera, mug. there's a big cinnamon looking there's a, candle. That might be an album. That looks like your Gamzee or, mug. What? This mug. Oh, there's like a polka dot mug. Kind of like the one I have, but it's different colors. That's a nice chair in the background. That is a nice that chair. That is a nice chair. Lots of cassette tapes and nice records. Nice chair to go along with a nice lamp. Come on, Connie. This that is, is a 21st nice century. desk. That is a nice table. Has a nice Her drawer. phone is green. No, it's not. It's yellow. You're just colorblind. That looks green. It's golden. It's green. It's golden. You're colorblind. She has a picture of an apple on her wall. Or her fruit. mother does. It's a fruit basket picture, which I didn't know people actually owned. So what do you think this... There's some loafers on the ground. I already mentioned them. Oh. Uh... There's some green there's... yarn. Maybe uh, that's... Maybe her mother knitted her sweater. Maybe. Never Look at all the other mail. That. Look at all the other mail beside the yarn. Like, that's a lot of letters. There's like... Look at this. And maybe there's more it's here. Like wedding mail. There's more... It's probably wedding mail that she still has. From which and, wedding? Well, from all her weddings. That's why there's so <laughs> many. Because she had to go through three weddings, so... Or it could three. be... Three. Yeah. And she got, like, things for three weddings. There's the... For, no, no, two weddings. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. Sorry, I was thinking the... 
how she's been engaged twice, but there's no like wedding stuff in the first time when she was engaged. They only talked about it. They didn't actually do anything. Um. You mean here today, gone tomorrow? Yeah. <coughs> she has very bushy eyebrows. Yeah, she has very <coughs> thick eyebrows. <coughs> she also has like this dark streak down the middle of her nose. I think it's war paint. It could have to do with big trouble under the big top because she's going in to investigate clowns again and we know what happened last time. Connie tangled with the Unless you haven't heard that episode yet. In case you should hear it because I like that one. I think I think she has sunglasses tan. I don't know. On her face. Kind of around her eyes because she has like these big areas around her eyes. Is she looking at the scrapbook or is she looking at us? I think she's looking at the camera. Maybe she was looking at the scrapbook and then she heard a noise and she was wondering why there's like Nathan Hubler in her living room filming her. <laughs> Just taking pictures of her. Yeah. Or the Gary Locke that draws these. Yeah. It's a very photorealistic carpet. Yeah. And the pattern, it actually kind of looks like they took a picture of carpeting and then like stretched it and curved it to cover over the floor. Well, if you if you put enough effort looking at the couch and you see like little flower designs on the couch, they're actually kind of pretty. I would not personally want a couch like that in my house, but or the, the wallpaper. The wallpaper is kind of ugly. I dislike that wallpaper. Oh, is that a grandfather clock? Right by the table. Kind of looks like one. Yes, except it doesn't have a clock in it. It's just kind of a grandfather. It's like a little cupboard that it's opens. Like, well, that's I... what that is. It's a tandel. What did you think it was? I don't know. It looked like a paintbrush standing on end or something. Oh, it kind of does. I don't know. Maybe it... child Connie glued it. Yeah, that's with, it. With like that little car glue where you that can't like, take used, it off. But, except that was paint and not glue. Yeah model car glue. I think we probably exhausted all we can talk about this. I think that doll is like really creepy. It kind of reminds me of Cabbage Patch dolls, but that actually looks less creepy than a Cabbage Patch doll. I like how the pillows on the couch match the couch. Because there are lots of couches that have pillows that do not match, and it annoys me. But props on the couch matching the pillows. Connie or June, whoever's house this is. So, there's a pen by the tape on the ground. I already mentioned that. So, uh, what do you think there's a cord. Connie is um, doing that face at then? Like, what is the situation she, here? Maybe she just realized that she's not wearing green and she tucked her shirt into her pants. That is definitely it. I don't like her shirt. I think we have just figured out what life expectancies is about because she's like, what is the point of my life if I'm not going to wear a green sweater anymore? It just kind of yeah, deflates all, the... all purpose that Connie has on the show. Yeah, she has like a green mug, green yarn, green couch, green pillows green phone. that match. There's like green tiles right above the sink in the back in like a line. And... But she's not wearing green. She is in her picture with her tennis ball eyes. I think, but is this the first album not. cover that's ever featured Connie by herself? I'm pretty sure it is. No, the doll's there, and there's a picture of she's the her parents. She's the only live person in the picture. I bet that doll's alive. That there's is... Eugene, there's the Eugene action figure that could actually be Eugene, and he was shrunken down. And there's Wit's face. If yep. I figure out how to move the picture so you can look at what we're looking at at the same time, that will be beautiful, but I probably can't. So hopefully you're following our instructions on where we're looking. It doesn't really matter now because I think we've talked ourselves of everything that we, we can. We were pretty descriptive. I think there's a bag beat by, like a blue bag. There's a the person couch. at about the box behind the couch. The box behind the couch. And there's like a like a purse. Blue bag. Kind of looks like a chopping bag a little and bit. And there's that sticky note that says 131. There's a set in a case in the box behind the couch. Here's something we could look at. It says 131. Let's see what episode 131 is. That is probably around album 9, I think, or album 10. Bernard, Bernard and, and Joseph. Joseph. Album 9, yes! I'm so good. 
part two. Obviously, Bernard is coming back. That I is, hope Bernard that is, is what back. this means. I bet Connie was, I bet, like, Connie's crying because I'm making that face because she realized that she still hasn't read that passage of the Bible from Between You and Me, and Bernard's going to continue mocking her for it. Do you I know what think, I'm talking yes, about? I do. Okay. I think it's more that look at their back window here in the kitchen. That's not the light that you can't see out of it. It's actually that dirty because Bernard is not in Odyssey. And now... <laughs> we need him. We can't see out of windows can't, anymore. We don't even have Bart to wash people's windows anymore. Like We're doomed. Like, we're just going to go on having unclean windows. Those forever. unwashed masses. We can get Edwin to do it. Oh, wait. No, we can't. He's gone Everybody's too. dead. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so. Aside from that dark note. Okay, so. Back to us. Now. Hello. So, thank you for staying with our little ranty thing. I hope that didn't go on for too long. It was just. In case you didn't notice, the first episode was pretty heavily scripted because there's a lot of specific stuff I wanted to get in there. And since then, things have gotten just a little more loosey-goosey with how things have been run. So hopefully you don't mind that too much. It gives us a little more room to be ourselves instead of constantly, you know, having to check at what we're saying. So, on that note, which is completely unrelated, poof! Subject changed. The next episode will be... <laughs> yes, you I got that reference. I wanted to say that. I wanted to say that, though. Car cat reference. Next episode will be a discussion on is Adventures in Odyssey a kid's show? Because that's a very pertinent question. It's a question that I get asked a lot. It's a question that a lot of people get asked a lot. And it is an interesting point of debate. I definitely have my answer. But the question is, can we prove it? So we will be discussing that next time. <laughs> Send us your thoughts in advance on that subject. This video probably won't have a long gap between this one and the next episode when it's released, I hope. But send us your thoughts on that, and we will see you next time. Remember to share and like and subscribe and comment and follow and, and other like and stuff, and send us emails, and send in the emails for Austin and Tasha, ask probing questions and such. Don't forget to send us trivia. Yeah, and all that. Jazz. Paraphernalia. Jazzy paraphernalia. All that jazz. So, I think that's everything. I'm Devin. And I'm Victoria. And you've been watching The, the Adventures, Adventures in Odyssey, Odyssey Oddcast. Oddcast. Just for special effect. Wait, wait, let me do it, let me do it. I always get stuck on... How do you open this? Yeah. Let's begin. And let's put it in the middle between us. We can that was that. awesome. Okay. Oh, do you have any idea how long it took me to open that? Uh, yes, I have an idea. I was watching you. Okay, this is the part where you can't see us because you're looking at Connie's uncomfortable, her uncomfortable face look. She looks... Yeah, I don't even know. Alright, are you ready to analyze this? Yes. We're gonna start in 10 seconds, Victoria. I'm killing something. Why are you playing? Okay. Five. Wait, four. Sorry. <coughs> okay, five. Let's do this. Four. Three. This is our That's puppy. Nice. Okay. She got sand on my lap. Blue, blue with the hair. Probably all ridiculous, isn't it? Is my hair ridiculous? Are, yes. Good. Mine is too. Good. So is his. So is Gidget's. So oh, it's down here. Five, four, three. Say something normal.